What's going on YouTube? We are back. Where have we been for the last better part of a year? Uh, we have been building our own training facility and it is a dream come true. I've had my hands in construction, uh, God, uh, plumbing, electricity, things I've never had to do to, before to make this place happen, but we have it now and it's right here. We're standing right in it. We haven't been able to make a whole lot of videos because of that and I really do apologize for that, but now that we're up and running and we have our own class schedule going on, we can start pumping out videos on gear reviews and techniques and tactics and all sorts of stuff again because we've had, we have things in here that I've, I could have only dreamed of having a year ago. Let's take a tour. All right, this is training room two. Uh, this is where we do a lot of our combatives and our reactive handgun stuff, our force on force training. And this room is completely convertible, like we could turn it into anything. So we have our matted area right now. We just got these mats in, check this out. So let me tell you about this training room. We have training room two, uh, go ahead, go ahead, give them a little pan real quick, show them what we're working with. Uh, this room is really cool. We use this for most of our combatives training and our force on force stuff. But it has everything, it has a bay door so we can pull in vehicles. Uh, it has mats. We just got these new mats in. These are Dolomer wrestling mats uh, for our combatives training. We're getting these ones glued to the wall uh, soon enough. And then we have enough to cover this entire space. These mats, I, I've been using old gym mats for the longest time to teach and we finally have something that is uh, very professional looking and really safe to fall on. That's the most important thing is you can actually do takedowns on these uh, without them sliding around or being too thin and uh, we've been using them. They're awesome. They're so good. So prior to having this place, we were a traveling business. So we would be traveling to different dojos, different gun ranges, and, uh, and which is still something we like to do. That's something that we do often enough but it's so different having a headquarters, having a place that I can call my own, that our team can train at when we're not holding classes, that we can hang out at, and we can hold classes on our schedule. It's crazy, because before that, it was, it was a mess trying to figure out when people were doing things, when, when uh, other, other companies were renting out spaces, and then I would have to change my schedule. Having your own business location, your own brick and mortar, it's a blessing. And, I love, I love having control over our schedule and I love being able to move things around um, without having to ask permission. I can just move things around, I can put these bob dummies wherever I want, I can put the partitions up wherever I want. It's just awesome. Fitness is something that's really important to all of us here because of what we do, what we're teaching, and uh, myself and my own personal fitness journey. And I've always gone to a gym, just like everyone else. I have my own gym now, all of our, all of our guys do. We all have our own gym right here and I can show up anytime I want. I can play whatever kind of music I want, uh, do whatever workouts I want. And I have, uh, we, we have so much stuff now. We have the TRX systems here. Uh, we have weights all over there. Like check it out. We have just tons of stuff. We got donated a lot of weights and uh, things you can use just for, uh, just for weighted exercises, which is great. Um, we're really big fans of body weight workouts. So the TRX, Bands are really, really good. We have racks for all this stuff now. It's not just kept in like storage. So I, I, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big organization guy. So just having stuff that's readily available that I could just pick up and I don't have to dig through to find it, it's been a blessing. You know, we've had this thing, this uh, training, training, padded training M4. We've had this thing in storage for years. Had no place to put it um, unless we were using it for a class. And now I can have it on display. I can just pull it out when we're demoing any kind of CQC techniques with a rifle. Uh, we have lockers. We got these lockers uh, for all of our lead instructors and some of our uh, VIP students so they can actually keep their stuff there. Um, it's, it's really, really nice to just be able to have everything on hand because before that, we were trucking everything around in vehicles. Like we would have to go and get someone's SUV, bring all the stuff to a location, then bring it back and then put it back in the storage. But to have it all in one place, all organized, uh, labeled, everyone knows where everything is, it's made operations just so much better. Let's check out the next room, come on. So film creation is gonna be so much easier here too because before that I was going to different places, I was using my own house, but I'm able to demo so much more in a space like this than I was able to before. And that includes everything from firearms training, edge weapons, and empty hand. All of it can be done here. The lighting's pretty decent. Uh, we're probably gonna have to replace some, of, some more of these lights because uh, we're still doing some renovations on this place. But all these, like these lights right here, these are all brand new. We, they were donated to us. And when we got this place, it was a wreck. It was bad. Uh, 
I'm gonna put in some pictures so you can see it, some video, but we spent, it, it had to have been about 50 of us, we spent the better part of a year getting this place ready, from painting, to putting down flooring, new lights, new ceiling tiles, it, it's a lot of work and it's, cool thing is I know how to do all that now, right? I know how to, I know how to do minor jobs uh, in a commercial space and honestly it transfers over to being able to do it in a residential space in my own home. So it was, it was awesome having a team of people that as soon as we moved in, they could use their skills, skills they already had from their job or from working at home to be able to make this place what it is. It is truly a community built building. If you guys are into sword stuff, we have merch that I've created for my other company, Ludus Ferozia. I'll link the YouTube channel of that. Uh, but I, it's essentially another academy, but it's for historical combat. We teach nine different historical combat disciplines. And uh, these are some fun Mimi t-shirts that we made. And uh, I'll link you guys to where you can buy them. They're really fun. So our retail space, this thing right here, this is a work in progress. This is something that's gonna happen with some time. Uh, we're already partnering up with awesome people like Tops Knives and uh, Palm Industries with the Palm Pepper Spray and a few others. But we really wanna turn this spot not only into just a training center, but a one-stop shop where you can buy what you need as you go from uh, knives to firearms accessories and to gear, all of it we wanna carry here. We're really thinking that this is gonna be the space where we start all this. In the comments, if you guys have any ideas of how we can build this space to be a better retail space, please let us know because uh, it's our first time having a brick and mortar where we sell things. Let's check out our lounge. This is a double duty room. It is a lounge for students. It's also a classroom for our admin stuff. So. Our concealed carry classes are all taught in here when we're teaching theory on different uh, disciplines. That's where we're gonna do this at. And uh, when we study actual fighting, we'll put it up on the screen here. And if you notice, we have a pull down screen, a cool projector up on that ceiling. And then uh, right behind you, we have a, another TV where people can either play PS5 or watch stuff. Um, and then it's decorated. We're still adding more decorations in there. We have some cool photos of our students and everything we're gonna try to put all over the walls. Uh, but yeah, this is this is our lounging space. This is where students come to relax and just chill. Let's get in the armory real quick. Shh, don't come close. It's a secret. Did you did you see the combo or no? <laughs> okay, good. So uh, here we have an armory that has a lot of. Uh, uh, the uh, higher price swords that we use, these are all sharps. But we do have a lot of our other more uh, practical tools in here. We have a whole bunch of uh, sim guns that have gotten over the years. Uh, they they are what we use in our force and force classes. That helps us teach all this material a little easier. One thing that's really cool about what we do in the building is because we do so much with the airsoft guns and the sim guns, we have gotten so many people come in to take firearms classes, but they're not really ready for the range. They're not used to the noise. The uh, ammo's gone up, so they're not willing to pay $17 a box of nine mil or so, whatever crazy number it is now. But I can get them in here and teach them how to use different weapon systems for very, very cheap. I mean, a thousand rounds through this gun is like 10 bucks something like that, it's really, really cheap. Uh, has recoil, it uh, has uh, functionality with like the safety and the magazine, the bolt catch, all of our guns do that. And really the only thing they have to get used to by the time they actually make it out to a range is recoil mitigation, recoil management, and um, getting used to the concussion and the noise, uh, as well as their wallets being drained. So um, this has been a very successful way for us to teach people how to use everything from a 12 gauge, and use the shells, to being able to use foreign weapons like a Kalashnikov. And these are these guns are main, mainly meant for our role players. Our role players uh, use these a lot when they're uh, doing stuff with law enforcement, military, or like something like a home invasion, uh, things that we can simulate. We have everything in here we need for firearms training. Yeah, we got these new training aids. These have been really helpful for getting brand new shooters to understand sight alignment and red dot sight and all that stuff. So that's been cool. I'm sure many of my gun people out in the audience already know what these are little dry fire training lasers. These things are gold when it comes to getting better with your firearm, rifle or handgun. Very, very important. You should buy some. And over to the left, we have the most important room, the bathroom. This bathroom was terrible when we got in here, but look at it now, it's, it's coming together. We're gonna put a few more decorations up. It doesn't smell like trash anymore because when we got in here, it smelled like trash, but it uh, looks pretty good. We had a lot of people work on that floor specifically. That floor was, Hell, it's terrible.
terrible, it's terrible. <laughs> this closet's a mess, but check this out. Look at all these flex holsters. We have so many of them now. So many of these holsters, we're about to start uh, shipping them out. But this is for the Flux Raider. Shout out to Ben with Flux Defense. Uh, you make a great product. We love making holsters for your gun. If you don't have a Flux Raider, you're wrong. This is where the magic happens, the office. I've never had my own office before. I've always been working out of my own place or having to borrow spaces from other people. But to have my own place to do video editing, to uh, come up with curriculum, to take calls, to make media, uh, it's just awesome. It's so good because I can concentrate on just my work. I don't have any distractions. Uh, we're gonna be putting some more stuff up in here. If you guys have any ideas of how we should uh, zhuzh this place up, please put it down in the comments. Uh, what kind of displays do you think we should have in here? Uh, I don't really care what it is, just tell me because it's still looking real empty. But take a look at that thing right there. Look at this, look at this. This is, this is probably the most ridiculous thing we have in the building. This is crazy. So this hammer, um, I'm gonna put a picture, I'm gonna send a picture to you Dalton so you can, you can put it in there. This hammer was bent by my co, the co-owner of ADC, Shane. He is such a strong dude. We were pulling nails out of the gray wall that's in room one, and he just, without, no facial expression, no nothing, just literally bent the thing. I don't remember how he was holding it, it was like this, and he just like looked at it, bent the hammer. It's, it's ridiculous, it's so crazy. So we, we decided to frame it, um, we're going to be moving that frame to somewhere where it is more visible, but it's kind of a kind of an inside joke within the club. Let's go to the back. All right, we're currently doing work in the back right here to add a flower bed and a few other things, but if you take a look at this wall, like just, just go around this wall and take a look at what people have written. Um, a lot of people that have helped us from day one, from both our clubs, from uh, Applied Defense and from Ludus, uh, have put their mark on the building, which is something that I really, really love that everyone did. So much love and work went into this company from day one all the way up until now. It's just been so awesome to have a, a strong community of people. There's still a lot of people that have not signed this wall yet, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get their message on the wall soon. And check out our beautiful sign. We just got that installed too. That thing took forever to get up there. I'm sure uh, Dalton will put up a shot of it uh, lit up at night because it, it's bright. It trips me out sometimes when I wake up and I get to come to this building and I see that I have a home, that we, our company has a headquarters that I was dreaming about for years. While it's still an in-progress project, it's going at a pace that I wasn't prepared for in a good way. It's just, it's just great. Uh, some other things that we are putting together because I have to expand and I have to actually have enough people to teach all the classes we want to teach. We are developing uh, relationships with local gun ranges to be able to get our live fire stuff up and running because it's always been a bottleneck for us is not being able to do live fire stuff because of range fees and because of uh, range congestion in our area. We're in a military town. There's tons of gun ranges. They're all taken. So uh, we've been working with a few companies and a few individuals to have multiple options and I can't wait for that to happen. Uh, but because we teach so many different classes now, uh, having the amount of people who can actually teach it, the talent and the time has been challenging. We are currently training about 15 people to become instructors with our company. It's a year-long process uh, that they've already been doing for about half a year. And I'm excited to see a lot of them make it through their final steps to become an ADT instructor and teach our material from self-defense, combatives, edge weapons, firearms, all of it. And uh, even de-escalation and a few other soft skills that we're starting to add into our curriculums. You guys as the viewer have been instrumental in our growth and I wanted to say thank you as well for those who have stuck by us and patiently waited for us to start releasing content again. We plan on making more content on gear reviews, specifically things like weaponry and uh, equipment for self-defense. We have a ton of stuff down the line from uh, less lethal pepper spray, uh, the, uh, the Berna less lethal sh uh, a pepper ball shooter. Just like before, we're going to be releasing a lot of gear reviews, but honestly this time we're going to be focusing a lot more on tactics. 
actually how to fight, how to be more situationally aware, uh, knife techniques, firearms techniques, and eventually I plan on launching an online training program for all of these that you can download and use at your leisure. Basically an online training manual on our systems of fighting. And that's gonna be an undertaking that's gonna take some time and some support. I have to get our Patreon up and running, so for those of you who wanna support us that way, that's gonna get those training manuals out much faster, both in the text format and in the video format. But if you're interested in something like that, please let me know in the comments. Maybe you know the best way to get something like that launched because I would really, really like to start having our training programs accessible to all of you guys. But for now, the best way to support our channel is to shop at our site, adctraining.us, or take a look at our Amazon affiliate link down below. It has basically every self-defense item on Amazon that we've tested and recommend. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for you to figure out, hey, I want a good pocket knife, I want good medical gear, I want a good holster, and all of those are gonna be in that comment section. The other way that you could help support our channel is of course to like and comment or subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out, especially now that we're getting back in the saddle with video and creation content. Also really exciting news, we have a brand new video editor who is behind the camera right now who is going to be helping me make these videos happen a lot faster. Video editing has always been uh, something that's taken most of my time up, but now that I have someone who's going to be doing it for me, I plan on making more content in the future with our team. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to make the next video. See you next time.